Wow, you must be fun. Why at was this so passive All you did was we honestly done the first video. If you're watching Sam's video and expecting 100% facts, then you're looking in the wrong place. Take a joke. It's called Entertainment. Go watch the History Channel. The History Channel. The History Channel. Egad, you're right. The whale pelvic bone isn't an anchor point for whale dong. It's a super secret transmitter that the whales use to communicate with aliens. Star Trek Four was a prediction of future events. All hail to our reptilian overlord, Giorgio Sokalos, builder of pyramids and slayer of dinosaurs. The Earth is only 25 years old and was created by Morgan Freeman. Okay, okay, but for real, despite all the people that just didn't get it, you guys seem to really like this series, and so I thought I'd treat you all to one more episode. Even more stupid details that no one besides my nosy ass cares about, even more nitpicking, even more having no goddamn idea what I'm talking about, even though I really should have some idea what I'm talking about. I hope you all enjoy, like and subscribe and all that, and without further ado, let's dive hands over head into the final five mistakes I found in Sam and Ella's videos. As several people have pointed out in my comments, Dachshunds, or weenie dogs, are not just bred for their strange appearance. Dachshund, in German, is a compound word literally meaning badger hound, and the name gives a pretty good clue as to what they're bred for. The long, thin body of Dachshunds makes them very good at digging down into animal burrows to hunt animals such as, you guessed it, the Loch Ness Monster. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's badgers. And while some of these Dachshunds have definitely taken to a bit of excessive longness over the last century or so, these strange shapes do indeed have a purpose. As Luke Hermery puts it expertly in the comments, they were irresponsibly bred for entirely practical reasons. Uh, so this is kind of cheating considering the video isn't up anymore, but if you know why it got taken down, what's a gotta do to get some eel dick? Yeah, Sigmund Freud probably didn't say that. It's completely historically inaccurate. Day ruined, life over. In Why Protoss Used to Suck, Sam puts the corn was bad as a list of reasons not to visit the Mayans. What I think he's implying here is that the Mayan civilization hadn't domesticated the early ancestors of corn such as Teosinti yet. However, there's plenty of evidence to support that corn had not only been domesticated but was a staple of the ancient Mayan diet since as early as 2500 BC. In fact, corn was not only cultivated by the Mayans but played a pretty important role in their culture and mythology. Basically, the point is that no, the mines did not have bad corn, it was apparently pretty good. Haha, <laughs> so I actually pointed out this exact same error in the first video, but as both Easy and Breno Afonso point out here, I didn't really elaborate on exactly why Sam's definition of oxidizer is incorrect. Mostly that was because I found a total of about five different definitions that all contradicted each other, which you wouldn't really expect from such a widely used term in pretty much every goddamn ology there is out there. But to summarize the Sea World wave pool of information that I had to sift through to find anything that the average person could read without having an aneurysm. An oxidizer is pretty much any element that gains electrons during a chemical reaction. Yeah, trust me, that's not exactly what I expected to find either, but it makes sense when you consider non-combustion processes that involve oxidation, like the forming of rust or food rotting. Now, like I said, there are other definitions of oxidizers, mostly used by individual companies and associations to classify either materials that could cause other elements to combust if brought in contact, or materials that could add to the intensity of an already ongoing reaction. However, neither of these definitions really come close to a material that releases oxygen when exposed to heat. The closest thing I could find to that from a quick Google search was something called fractional distillation, which is a process using heat that separates air into its different elemental components, but that doesn't sound right either, so I'm gonna shut up about it before I upset the chemistry people. But the point is that Sam's definition of oxidizer is pretty wrong. Sorry about that. Ah uh, yes, my old nemesis, the historical misconceptions video. So one of the claims Sam makes is that Einstein never failed math, and that it was probably made up as a story to make kids who were actually failing math feel better about themselves. While it's true that Einstein never failed math specifically, there are several very real events in Einstein's life that serve as more than enough feed for the cow of misinformation to grow. While he did get good enough grades, Einstein fucking hated school as he strongly disagreed with the teaching methods used probably because he had an acute case of big brain and was bored of being light years ahead of his classmates. He also failed the entrance exam for the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School on his first try, doing just fine in the math and physics section naturally, but failing in 
uh, well, kind of everything else. He did end up going to the school only about a year later, though, so, yeah. Well, that was over quickly, uh, I guess that's it for this video. This is 100% gonna be the last episode of the series as related to Sam Onella, but I did just promise a subscriber to do a mistakes episode on internet historians, so I hope I don't regret that. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Also, make sure to check out my subreddit, I post video thumbnails there before the video comes out, and just post memes and have a good time talking to you guys in general, so be sure to check that link out in the description. Anyways, until next time, my name is Sakaris, and peace out.